Welcome to Wacky Wednesdays, where everyone has a chance to show off their car mods. And here's this week's winner. Hello everyone, this is my 2008 Acura TL. Uh, this TL, the third gen, was actually available from 2004 to 2008, and it is considered one of, one of Acura's best-looking sedans, even till date, although it is about 14 years old for this specific third gen model. It is a 2008, it is the base model. In the years 2007 and 2008, there, was two, there were two options, the base, which I have here, and also the Type S, which came with the 3.5 liter, the uh, Brembo brakes is brake in the front the uh stiffer suspension amongst other things i've had this car for about four, three years i have put about sixty thousand miles on it so i definitely do drive a lot one of the things that are left to be desired in this car is fuel economy it is not the best uh when it comes to fueling but she definitely is fun the base came with a 3.2 liter v6 vtec engine now the vtec was only on the intake side most hondas have them on the intake and exhaust but this one just had it on the intake so not as a special but vtec nevertheless so first i'll go ahead and show you the interior let me get this open all right so opening it up the interior the custom seat covers over here i have the double din radio market radio the car did come with navigation but the navigation is about uh 10 years old now so i just use my phone and i plug it on to the double den and it, that double den does have uh android auto and uh, apple carplay i also have a custom uh, steering wheel it is um, a carbon fiber ish that's not real carbon fiber you can see this it's not holding all that well up to time and I've only had it for not too long, but it does look great. Uh, the car is automatic. The car is automatic. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! Yes, boohoo, automatics, but you know, it gets the job done. Um, uh, it was. It, this is my first car, so I wasn't looking at anything you know, special over the top. I just wanted something to get me from point A to point B and then I became a car guy. And uh, I'll show you what happened after becoming that car guy. So this is not your typical Acura TL. This one is supercharged. Uh, it'll be really hard to see, but the supercharger is, is a centrifugal supercharger. It looks like a turbo. It's a belt-driven turbo, turbo, essentially. It's hidden all the way down there where the AC used to be. What? How many people have called me crazy? Pretty much all my friends and family. But it is a joy to drive. This car came with a 3.2 liter V6, the base model. What I did was I actually swapped it out with a 3.5 liter from the Type S. This one specifically came from the bigger Acura RL from 2007. And I actually built the motor. So uh, forged pistons, forged, the crank is already forged, uh, for, uh, forged rods because the first time I built it, I threw a rod, actually I threw four. Through the automatic trans transmission, I get with uh, pump gas 93 here in Jersey, I get 437 uh, wheel horsepower. And on E85, which we have one gas station now, so I can't take advantage of that, it makes 400, 484 at uh, 12, uh, 12 pounds of boost. That's a pretty good chunk of power for an automatic transmission. And the transmission has been holding up real well. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Mm-hmm. 
that's pretty much it. Um, I still have some more plans for the car. I wanted to do a manual swap because with a manual swap, um, uh, this car in the exact same conditions that it is now, we'll be making about an extra 60 horsepower to the wheel. So I will definitely be tipping over the 500 mark with E85. And the yeah, manual is just a lot more fun. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Well, that was this week's video. And to have your car mod shown on my channel here, check this out. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.